everyone, it's Joanna from JMT Art Studio. So today, this is the very first video for my training series, which I will be calling The Art of Training. Since I am a training supervisor and I was previously a training specialist, I wanted to share with you the knowledge, experiences, and the skills that I was able to attain during my career as a trainer. And in this video, in this very first video, which I will be calling Training 101, we will be answering three questions. So the first question is, what is a corporate trainer? Second is, what is the job description of a corporate trainer? And third is, we are going to know what are the qualities of an effective trainer. So I hope you continue watching the video and here it is. So the first question. What is a corporate trainer? So a corporate trainer is an educator or an instructor in the business environment. Their task or our task is to convey knowledge or skills to a group of employees. So for example, in our case, um, we have a lot of training programs that are devised based on the training needs of each employees. So, meron po tayo para sa mga supervisors, sa mga cashiers, baggers, sales ladies, service crew. So, for all those people who need specific training, training, trainings. <laughs> so, for example, um, as a supervisor, ano bang kailangan ng isang supervisor? So, they have to have, um, good leadership skills, they must possess the quality of someone who is responsible, and for for other positions as well, they also need to have good customer service. That is why we have came up with the idea to create a program, and we called it Genuine Service Program. So it is not the typical training program that we just teach them that you must be able to greet the customer you have to be able to provide the needs of the customer so it's not just that so thankfully our director give, had given us the chance to be able to think of ideas on how to make it more engaging so we called it genuine service program because we wanted employees to feel that they are not mandated to do it but they have to feel it in their hearts that they really wanted to do it for example, if if there is a customer who needs a certain product, um, they have to be happy doing the job that they want. And there are a lot of other training programs. So um, a trainer or a corporate trainer must do their job on researching and finding out what does the employee needs, what what is it that the company might be lacking in some ways so next question question number two what what is the job description of a corporate trainer or what does a corporate trainer do so there is actually a lot of things that a corporate trainer does there's a lot of things in our plate um, from the preparation to execution to evaluation and for for further observation of if a specific task or skill was properly um, executed it must be observed if a certain employee or a certain individual who attended the training must be doing the things that they have learned during the training program so it's a continuing process so what we must remember is when we when we are a corporate trainer um, their task is to convey knowledge and skills. So how do they do it? So just like what I mentioned, we are going to conduct trainings, lectures. Um, we are also going to conduct structured learning exercises or games for them to be able to remember and attain the knowledge throughout, not just after the training, but during during their working hours. So those things are very important because they must ensure that the employees engage and enjoy the program as well. So they must be able to learn, enjoy, and of course, adopt the culture and the knowledge that was discussed during the training. Okay, so the third question. What are the qualities of an effective trainer? Actually, this is my favorite question among the three. So what are the qualities? So there are a lot of qualities if you will search the internet or even read some books. 
but I came up with 12 and this this 12 are my favorite so first one is you have to be knowledgeable you have to be experienced you have to be able to to communicate clearly so you must have good communication skills fourth is of course an a trainer must be able to be flexible so what do we mean by that we will later discuss that next is they have to walk the talk next is well organized they have to be well prepared they have to be good with people they have to have that engagement with the people around them and of course they have to recognize the value of learning they have to have or we have to possess the quality of being someone who is patient a good listener and understanding next is they have to be open-minded and of course last but not the least they must be creative okay now let's discuss each qualities and what does it mean and why must a trainer possess them so the first one is knowledgeable knowledge is very important of course you cannot teach something that you don't know you cannot teach something that you don't have so for you to be able to teach something you have to thoroughly study about that specific topic you have to know every detail about that program or training program because there is a possibility there is a big possibility na magtatanong sa'yo they will ask you questions such as oh, what does this word mean um can you please elaborate further you must find the right words or more um words that are more understandable or easy to understand simplest form you don't have to um speak words that is hard to understand or you're not there to impress them but you're there to make them understand the topic furthermore so knowledge being knowledgeable is very important as a trainer so next one is I am experienced why do you have to be experienced to have to be a tra trainer rather so shampoo you are teaching or you are training a lot of people from different walks of life um, different different people different age age different gender diba? so you have to be able to 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 share experiences that you yourself experience so that they would also feel that oh, yeah she's right actually i also experienced that diba? so whenever you're you're discussing something it's very important that you give examples examples are very important and your examples must always be relevant to the topic because there are times um there are some some trainers who are who are giving examples that are quite irrelevant so um let let us try to avoid that because it is very important that we find examples that that are really relevant to the topic. So, um, kailangan experience mo din talaga siya. For example, um, one of which is, let's say, you're going to teach them a specific application. So, I have ex I have experience that I trained them um, about the application. It's an, it's, it's an audit application. So, you have to be able to thought first is you apply your your knowledge being knowledgeable and you have to experience auditing yourself doing it yourself so um it's 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 something that you must possess even though maybe you're not comfortable with it i wasn't comfortable with it at first because i had so many questions what if um this is going to be um this is going to be a big mistake or anything like that kailangan mo siyang pagdaanan para ma maduro mo sa kanila ng maayos so that when you're discussing you will tell them already that don't do this because this is going to cause a problem. Do this. Diba? The do's and don'ts. So, masasabi mo sa kanila kung ano yun. But of course, you could also share some experiences from other people, from other participants as well, with their consent. Of course, um, sabi nga nila, it's wiser, from, it's wiser to learn from others' mistakes. Diba? So, giving them the knowledge and the ideas of experiences will help them not to do it or for example um disciplinary for the trainings that we conduct also disciplinary actions you're gonna give examples that um there are people who violated this this rule and this is what this is the consequence of their action so 
um, they will not do it again because they know that there is a consequence or there is a punishment or there is going to be an aftermath to a certain fault next is like what um like what i mentioned a while ago the third one is you must have good communication skills so hindi po kailangan na masyado po tayo magaling mag english because what's important is having good communication skills you must be able to express yourself in my training programs um most of my training programs before i start before we start we make sure that we check our um participants profile we have to know who are going to attend very important so that um, your examples will be relevant and also before you start you will see um, are are there people who prefer Tagalog or English or Chabacan okay so before I start greeting them and then asking them um, how many of you here are Chabacan or Tagalog English anong gusto niyo Tagalog ba English ba Chabacan o meron sa kanila gusto nila ng halo so sasabihin mo siya ng English you will say it in say it in English, you're gonna say it in Tagalog, Chabacano, or even Bisaya. So it's it's kind of fun because you also learn different kinds of words because they're 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 going to help you as well. Um, I love speaking Tagalog, Chabacano, Bisaya in training so that they would really understand. Ah, gan pala yun, mom. So, diba? They are going to be able to understand it. You're going to create engagement. So fourth is, um, you be you must be flexible. So bakit kailangan maging flexible? So, there are different kinds of participants. Um, on the first batch, um, they're going to be like, masyado silang energetic, na napaka, napaka particip participative nila. So, you're gonna have fun if you're gonna have participants like that. But, next batch, medyo tahimik, ganun. So, kailangan i-adjust mo yung sarili mo. I kung, kung sila ay energetic, so, um, let them give give them also the stage so that they would also be able to express their thoughts. And next, if another batch is medyo tahimik, so you adjust. You make them feel like um, you're you are not going to have any problem here. You can express yourself. Don't be don't be shy. Bukay mahiya. Be comfortable. Express yourself. You are here to learn and enjoy, and we are not going to to make you feel like you're wrong or anything like that. So. You make them feel that they are comfortable with them, with that certain, certain training. And also, um, you also have to be flexible in terms of the words that you use, terms that you use in trainings. Of course, um, we have different programs, basic, then of course, magiging advanced some program. So, you adjust the words that you use. So, it always depends. Of course, it's very important that you make sure that you know everything every detail about the program and one of which is you have to be flexible and you have to be fun uh, so you cannot be just someone who's just lecturing and then they they also expect it to be fun so sometimes i throw jokes sometimes i i make them feel like it's okay you can you can laugh with me next is kailangan um you walk the talk diba? so what do you mean by walk the talk Shempre, what you're saying, you actually need to do it, okay? For example, in my team, um, I am, last year I remember, I was, aside from, I was awarded as most outstanding employee, thank you to my, to my boss, to, my, to our director, and everyone who, who decided to, to choose me. And I was also most punctual. So imagine I am very early, like one hour I'm already at the office, especially if there's a training, like it's one and a half hour, I'm already there. So, because I don't want them to say that, Sabi mo mo maaga ka, Bert, ikaw mismo hindi ka maaga, di ba parang nakakaya naman. So, yun. And also, if if you teach them values such as being courteous, you also have to be courteous. Although, we make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes we're not in a mood. So, we cannot be always like happy and courteous all the, th all the time. So, but but as much as possible, we have to be someone who is a role model, especially if you're a leader. Because just like if you're a parent, diba? they will not follow what you say. They will follow what you do. So you have to make sure that what you say is synonymous to the actions that you do. They have to be aligned. Next is well-organized. Bakit kailangan well-organized? Because whenever we're conducting programs, sometimes two days,
there is set A, set B. So, every like activities or exam for set A, mga exams, dapat prepared na siya. Dapat naka-organize siya. Hindi pwede maghahalo ang set A, set B. Siyempre, magkakagulo, magkakaproblema. At siyempre, it will not make the program run smoothly. Diba? Next is, kailangan well-prepared. Although, um, um, some of the qualities that I have mentioned are not in chronological order, but all of these are very important and they are correlated with each other. So, just like what I mentioned, you have to be well-prepared. Bakit kailangan prepared? Siyempre, um, you cannot come to a place like, for example, in a training program that there are no chairs. Diba? That's so basic. But we st first, you start with the preparation. You start with creating an outline. You have to have the idea. What is my um, training program? about and then what are the contents what are the activities what are the topics about and next if you are already if you were able to present it to your director and he approves it you have to make a production of that preparation of the presentation and then the the participants the dates so we are preparing calendars of activities every month to just to make sure that everything is planned out because um, failing to plan is planning to fail did i said that right again failing to plan is planning to fail that is very applicable to us trainers because mistakes is a big no especially um everyone and everything is connected and you have to make sure that you have planned out everything and every details is prepared from the chairs the number of chairs that is going to be needed what if um there's there's 30 participants and you're locking chairs like that or um, the usb is not available or there's no projector so small details big impact so you have to remember that you have to have a checklist kailangan talaga may checklist and when when i i have a meeting with my team tina check talaga namin um, who are assigned to a specific task because it's a big deal no matter how small even the name tags are very important next is ito. you have to be good with person good with people rather why do we have to be good with people of course because we're dealing with different kinds of people we have to have rapport with every participant, not only inside the, the classroom or the training room, kailangan you have a relationship with them even after the training because you're going to observe if they were able to to capture the knowledge you conveyed to them. And also, kailangan you really enjoy that. So for my case, I didn't really expect to be in this kind of field because I know, we know for sure that at a young age, I consider myself as an introvert. So what is an introvert? So an introvert is someone who enjoys isolation and we believe that being alone is not synonymous to being lonely. Anyway, but I discovered that I'm an interesting blend of introvert and extrovert. And we call it the ambivert. Ayan. So ang ambivert, for example, in my case, I could talk like eight hours straight. No problem with that. And I'm going to have the energy. I'm going to make make it fun. There will be a lot of examples and um, I will make sure that you're going to learn something from me. But at the end of the day, I need to relax. I need to isolate myself from any social interactions. And I'm just, since I am an, um, I am an artist, so I would just grab a pen or a paintbrush and I would relax myself listening to music because I need to, to recharge myself because I have exerted so much energy in the morning. So I know, I know a lot of people could relate. Like um, whenever I conduct training, I would ask, okay, sino dito ang mga introvert? Or sino dito yung mga mahiyain? Sino naman dito yung mga extrovert yung walang hiya? Hindi naman walang hiya. Yung mga hindi nahihiya masyado. Like pag tatawagin mo sa stage, di ba? Parang pupunta talaga. Pero mga introvert, medyo mahiyain pa yan sila. Magdalawang isip pa na. Ah, nahihiya ako ba? Ano sabihin nila sa mga ganun? But anyway, um, you have to be good with people. You have to be able to, like what I said, flexible different kinds of personality. Kasi nga, there are different kinds of personality types. Merong mabait, syempre merong, merong hindi. So, di ba? So, ikaw mag-adjust. Kasi ikaw ang trainer. Um, like our director, director said na you um, the training program is run is is not um, not controlled by the the trainees or the participants. The training program is for you to decide on how long it will last, how it will end, and how it will begin. So you run the program. Next is of course kailangan he or she or us we have to recognize the value of learning. Ayan. So um, even though if you see us. Um, us trainers just sitting and looking at our laptop even if if we don't have trainings it doesn't mean that we're not doing anything or we're just there doing nothing we are there um, doing a lot of reach, research thinking about what are the best things that I have to do ano kaya ang gagawin ko para mas impactful yung training program because trainings are not meant to be just lectures you have to make sure that you're conducting the training 
na meron sila matutunan and you don't need to force them to learn it. The, he or she himself, he is able to capture the knowledge and trainings from that because of how you delivered it. So, you ask questions to them, you conduct exams na hindi sila medyo mababoard, so you create activities. So, it's very important that we don't stop learning. So, we continuously learn, we do a lot of research, and thankfully, our our director and the company, they are very supportive of us. They have given us a lot of books. So, since I, I love reading books, especially books of Stephen Covey, so Mac, John Maxwell. So, it's 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 really, um, um, really amazing to find those kinds of books and be able to share it with them in a simplified way, a simplified term. So, it's very, very nice to, to have that kind of support. So, you, know, you have to recognize the value of learning. So, Next is, um, a trainer must be these three things. So, first, kailangan patient, good listener, and understanding. Bakit? Kasi matitest po yung mga patients natin if you're a trainer. Because we have to understand that we have different under, uh, we have different point of views, different perception, and different learning styles. So, there are times wherein others will understand it easily and the others will find, find it hard. So, kailangan... Um, you have to be patient. If if they can't get the topic right away, you find a way to make them understand. Okay, it's it's that's why it, you're there to make to make things easier for them. You have to be patient also. If there are some participants or attendees who who are hard headed, diba? or just like some teachers, meron talaga mga student na uh, matigas ang ulo, late dumadating, or meron naman um si pag usap sa katabi, so you find a way. But of course, you have to find a way that they will not feel embarrassed. So, my way is very simple. Um, I create a game wherein they're going to have separate seats para hindi lang katabi yung mga friends nila. Total, sandali lang naman sila maghihiwalay. So, we um, we separate their their chairs so that also they can, could meet other people. And then, if you're going to see that they're talking, you just ask them the question. And of course, they will, they will feel that... Um, I'm, I'm not doing the right thing. I shouldn't be talking, diba? And also, you have to be patient um, with those who, like what I mentioned, who are late. And you have to make sure na next time, especially if we have a two-day training program, if you're late on the first day, it's quite acceptable. But if you do it the second day, syempre, you're, you are going to be questioned, diba? So that um, next time, it will, it will not happen again. Next is, kailangan good listener ka. Kasi, syempre, um, they have some experiences that they want to relay through you if they have any questions you have to understand them and make them feel like it's okay to ask questions it's okay to tell us your problem as much as possible we will try to help you and of course kailangan next is you have to be understanding of course um like what i mentioned we are we have different kinds of understanding different levels of perception so you understand that next is kailangan open-minded ka Bakit kailangan open-minded? So, kailangan, like what I've mentioned, excuse me, like what I've mentioned, we have different point of view. So, not everybody will agree with you. Even though you you have proven already that this is the right term, this is the right way, there will always be someone who will not believe you. And I always believe this thought, you cannot please everyone. And that's quite true. You cannot please everyone and it's totally fine. Just as long as you did the right thing, you did the right research about it. Para naman hindi ka balikan. So, you have to be able, that's why it's very important, you, ha, you have to research about the topic. So, yun, you have to be open-minded. Para naman kung may mga, may mga hindi mag-disagree sa'yo, maintindihan mo sila. Ah, sige ma'am, okay po, sige sir. Basta, eto po kasi yung tama. Eh, kung kukontra pa rin sila sa'yo, so it's, it's already, it's already their, their problem. Okay, you don't have to stress out about it. And last but not the least, creative. Ayan, yan ang paborito, kaya yan ang panghuli. So, as a visual artist and a painter, I make sure that there is a touch of art sa mga programs ko. So, people or learners are learning visually. So, mas nakakaroon ng um, retention sa brain and sa mind natin pag may visual assistance sa mga presentation. So, the presentation should be... Um, Reten uh, attention catcher um, but it, it doesn't mean that kailangan na paharaming decoration hindi din pwede Ta and then you have to have activities that are fun filled you have to be creative and hindi dapat lecture type kasi if it's going to be lecture type your participants are gonna be bored and they're makikita mo sila um, 
they're gonna feel sleepy and then wag, wag ganun, di ba? parang nakaka-offend yun para sa trainer so if you don't want to see that you have to be creative and you have to make sure that when you talk to them you make sure that the tone of your voice yung hindi sila antukin so um, I don't need lapel sa aming training program kasi um Malakas na po yung boses ko, especially if in that training room, because it's enclosed. And so, in in this in this kind of platform, or in I'm trying to to share with you the knowledge and experience that I have. Um, it's just in a moderate tone, since um, we're not in the training room. So you have to be creative. So as the days goes by, you can use a lot of things to make it fun. Since there is internet, pwede ka mag-research ng mga games na ikakatuwa nila. And you have to use videos, charts, interactive games. So, kailangan engaging. So, again, yun po ang ating 12 qualities of an effective trainer. So, um, there will be a lot of series for this training training um, program that I have created. And I'm so happy that I'm able to share with you since sa totoo lang, I really miss training a lot. Due, the, due to this pandemic, I wasn't able to conduct, we weren't able to conduct training programs because syempre po, bawal ang face-to-face. But for this time, I finally decided to make a video about trainings because I really miss training. And um, shout out to all my participants and attendees sa lahat ng mga training programs na kinandak namin. And to my training team and to, to our dear director. So, um... We are very thankful for, for all those runs that we had. Um, I will never forget those experiences. And it's it, it's going to re- remain in my precious memories. So this time, um, we're just going to talk through this platform. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Para naman magkaroon pa tayo ng mas maraming videos. And I hope you have a great day. And take care always. And see you next time.